Okay, I think we're up to number seven. So for number seven, for number seven and eight, let's talk about the difference between a deficit and a debt. Okay, so for number seven, let's talk about what a debt, de I can't spell. Hold on. Deficit. All right, so we're talking about a budget deficit. All right, so if you were paying attention in the last video, you'll notice that a deficit is when the government spending is greater than the tax receipt. And uh, if you were paying attention, uh, that's what we got going on now, okay? Uh, now, before I get into that, I just want to sort of clarify the other conditions that could exist, right? If your government spending is less than your tax receipts, that's called a budget surplus. And if your government spending is equal to your tax receipts, that's called a balanced budget. So, uh, you know, the, my only comment on the uh, balanced budget is that it's important to note that uh, the federal government is not required by law to, uh, to run a balanced budget, okay? So they don't, generally. A budget surplus, you may be thinking, ah, oh, that, that probably never happens. Well, actually it is. It's rare, but it has, uh, it has occurred. And then the last time uh, I believe that the federal government ran a budget surplus where the spending was less than the tax receipts would have been in the very early 90s, um, or I'm sorry, uh, late 90s, early 2000, under uh, um, the very end of the Clinton administration and the beginning of uh, President uh, George W. Bush's administration, uh, there was a surplus. All right, let's talk about the deficit, because what did I just say in the last video? Government spending for fiscal 2020 is forecasted to be... Uh, about 4.9 trillion and tax receipts are only forecasted to be about 3.8 trillion so government spending will be bigger than the tax receipts and we're going to run about a 1 trillion dollar deficit and it's important to note that a deficit is an annual look so it's it's tied to the fiscal year that we talked about before but we the government is going to spend to spend about a trillion, a trillion dollars <clears throat> more than it's going to take in in, uh, in tax revenues this year. Okay, number eight. How is a deficit different than a debt? So number eight, debt. Debt is just the accumulation of all those deficits. So debt is a gross number, and you take all those annual deficits and add them all together, and that's what your debt is. The uh, U.S. debt right now is approximately $24 trillion. Stop and think about that for a sec. We talked about how big a trillion dollars is. $24 trillion. That's what the government owes. Now, who does it owe it to? It owes it to... Any entity that buys government securities. So uh, it can be an individual, it could be a family, it could be a business, it could be another nation, it could be another agency of the uh, government. But whoever purchases and holds U.S. government securities, remember we talked about the interest payment the government is, is bound to make or, or legally has to make? Yeah, they're making interest payments on that $24 trillion that uh, other nations and other entities and, and people and firms have, have loaned them or have loaned the government, okay? So that's the difference between a deficit and a debt. Deficit is an annual look, government spending versus the tax receipts, versus debt, which is the accumulation of, of all of that, those deficits, okay? All right, now, number nine, let's, uh, so nine and 10, I wanna talk about the difference between, I alluded to, uh, to this before, but I want to talk about the difference between, uh, in Congress, when we talk about spending. So the difference between discretionary, dis uh, discretionary spending versus automatic spending. Automatic spending. And the short answer is, automatic spending is spending that Congress does that does not take a vote by Congress. It's automatic, okay? So the best example, the best example 
I can give you is uh, unemployment. So unemployment payments, and that's uh, you know that's sort of a timely example, right? Because we just had this past month of millions of people apply for unemployment. Well, Congress isn't going to have to vote on uh, them receiving that unemployment. It's an automatic uh, expenditure versus discretionary. Discretionary requires a vote uh, by Congress. And the best example recently I can think of is the stimulus package, right? Because um, stimulus package. So Congress just voted on about a $2 trillion stimulus uh, package. And uh, that is a great example of discretionary spending. So those are the top 10 kind of terms or concepts uh, you need to have down uh, as we talk about fiscal policy.